Now, another thing that I want to do is actually drive the emission. If we noticed from our um, from the frame that we rendered before, I kind of have these actually glowing and then the glow kind of fades the older the particles get. So let's assign that normalized age attribute that we visualized right here. I'm just going to pull it back up again. Let's use this normalized age attribute to drive the emission color of our particles. So I will um, bring in another particle attribute lookup. So hit tab and type in uh, point. It's weird because it says particle attribute lookup on the node itself, but I actually have to type in, um, if I type in particle, it doesn't know what I'm looking for. I have to type in point attribute lookup. So there's something that's kind of weird, but at any rate, um, I'm gonna grab this uh, particle attribute lookup and type in that name, that age n attribute here. And then we'll give it another ramp. Let's throw down an RS ramp. And we'll wire in the out color of the particle attribute lookup and the out color of the ramp into the emission color. And then let's go over here and scroll on down to emission. And let's just crank the weight up to something like two and go to the ramp and let's just change uh, the color on the lower end to this orange color and then maybe on the upper end we can change it to a lighter yellow color. And let's render this now. You can see that we kind of are getting like somewhat of like a, um, a lava effect. You know, it's like a little bit, you know, we're just, it's, it's changing color. It almost looks like it's cooling off, except I kind of have this backwards. Let's just go to a deeper red on the, um, on the, young, uh, on the uh, older side and a, like a brighter yellow on the uh, younger side. So we can crank this back and sort of start to see that changing colors as it gets older. The other thing I'd like to do is actually drive the emission weight. And one thing that's always kind of puzzled me about Redshift is that there, ha there isn't really an emission, even though there's an emission weight value here, there isn't really an exposed um, parameter that you can pipe things into to kind of control it. So usually what I do is I just set my weight where I want it, and then I'll actually multiply or composite the um, brightness value against this. So just much, much like a multiplication works as a masking object in um, like Photoshop or something like that, um, we can use a, a vector multiplication right here, or you could use a composite node to kind of multiply the uh, some grayscale ramp associated with this age against it. So let's do that. I'm going to throw down a RS composite. So the RS color composite, and I'm going to throw that down here, and you can see that the base color is what we currently have. And then I'm just going to, um, maybe what I'll do is I'll just hold down the Alt key and drag this ramp down to create a different ramp, and then I will uh, pipe that into the blend color. And here what we can do is just maybe um, use this little gear icon and just uh, switch back to uh, a default grayscale value right here. So that's just sort of resetting the ramp. And then if we go to our color composite node, we can um, set the composite mode to multiply. And you can see that that ramp is now driving the brightness. Now it's actually driving the brightness. It's getting brighter as it gets older. So if we just go over here on this, um, on this ramp that we've created here, it, there's a nice little switch that allows us to kind of mirror or like reverse the ramp. So we just can do that. And here we can add more knots and kind of, you know, dial this back if we want to like see it fade uh, off a little bit, you know, adjust like the, the speed at which it fades off. And in fact, this is looking a little bit too yellow to me right now. So what I might do is actually just maybe remove the yellow from this or maybe actually use this orange and add another knot. And then if I double click on this knot, a color picker comes up. I can just kind of choose a darker red and just kind of dial that around however I, however I want. 